So they announced the new approach to salmonella and poultry. How are they doing that? They basically have commenced conversations with stakeholders to kind of figure out what an entire system based approach would even look like. So I imagine, you know, they're having a round table. People, what is this going to look like as far as creating an actual solution to salmonella? Yeah. The next thing they're doing, get this, they're using science. Mm, can't wait to hear this. <laughs> right? The FSIS has actually charged the NAC MCF or the National Advisory Committee for Microbiological Criteria in Foods. They've basically charged them to advise them on the latest science and technology out there to improve the approach to salmonella control. Wow. Shout out to them for using science. Mouthful there. We hope that the NACMCF is going to use the proper science and the proper technology because right now we know like anybody can use science. Then the next thing they're doing is they're actually contacting poultry processing and slaughter facilities. They're actually inviting them to basically uh, become pilot projects so they can evaluate different control strategies for sal salmonella con contamination. They're going to the stakeholders, I guess the people in charge. Then they're going to the science-based community to find out, hey, where can we actually start with science, which is a huge thing because bacteria, I mean, you want to have scientists there to advise you. Yeah. And then the last thing they're doing is they're going to these poultry processing facilities to find out when it comes from the actual farm or wherever they're growing it mm -hmm. to these processing facilities, what is taking place? What kind of transactions can we actually do to yeah. mitigate the spread of salmonella?